Game dev is hard, but sometimes one tool can save days of work, fix a problem you didn't even know you had, or just make development fun again by making boring tasks easier. Today I'm showing you the exact tools that completely changed how I make games. From hidden Unity gems that speeds up your workflow, to free resources that make your game look professional, to websites that spark new ideas. No filler, no fluff, just the best tools I've found that every game dev should know about. So if any of these tools ends up helping you, don't forget to like and subscribe so more game devs can discover these tools too. Alright, let's start with some quality of life assets. The first one on the list is autosave. From the name, you already know what it does. Basically, every time you hit play mode in Unity, it automatically saves your project. Sounds basic, right? But Unity doesn't have this by default. And the best part is, it requires zero setup. You just import it and it works instantly. This one has saved me countless hours and more importantly, prevented me from losing progress after Unity crashes or my PC randomly freezes. It's a tiny feature that makes a massive difference and honestly, once you try it, you will never want to work without it again. Next up is Hot Reload. This is actually the only paid asset on the list, but it's so good it deserves a spot. Basically, it lets you change your code while the game is still running, without stopping play mode or waiting for Unity to reload. If you've ever tested a feature, made a tiny code tweak, and sat there staring at Unity for what feels like forever when it recombines, yeah, you already know how big of a deal this is. Hot Reload cuts out that wasted time completely. You just make your change and boom, it's live instantly. For rapid iteration, debugging, or fine tuning mechanics, this asset is a massive productivity boost. Honestly, once you get used to it, going back to the normal Unity workflow feels painful. Moving on, let's talk about Naughty Attributes. And honestly, this one is a total lifesaver. If you've ever missed with making custom editor tools in Unity, you know it's a huge time sink. Writing editor scripts or custom GIs just to make your inspector look decent is not fun. But Naughty Attributes fix that instantly. It gives you a huge list of attributes you can just slap into your variables. Want a custom button in an inspector? Done. Want to hide or disable certain fields based on conditions? Easy. Need a texture preview? It's built in. And the best part is, you don't need to touch editor scripting at all. Just add the attribute to your main script and your inspector becomes way more powerful and user friendly. So whether you've never written an editor script before or you just want quick customization without the hassle, Naughty Attributes is absolutely worth having in your toolkit. Next up is Serialized Dictionary. This one is kind of in the same spirit as Naughty Attributes, but focused on a very specific pain point in Unity, dictionaries. By default, Unity just doesn't serialize dictionaries. That means you can't see them in the inspector, can't edit them, and basically you have to manage everything in code, which is super inconvenient. Serialized Dictionary solves that simply by just adding the attribute, and your dictionaries become fully visible and editable in the inspector. You can easily see the keys, values, and even tweak them at runtime without digging into code. It might sound like a small thing, but being able to manage dictionaries directly in the editor makes your workflow way faster, especially for things like managing states, lookups, or data tables. If you've ever wanted Unity to handle dictionaries like any other collection in the inspector, this asset is the fix. Last in the quality of life category is better folders. This asset doesn't add new features to your game, instead it helps you work faster by cleaning up your project view. Every folder in Unity looks the same, which quickly turns into a nightmare when your project grows. Better folders fixes that. All you have to do is middle click a folder, pick a color or icon, and instantly it stands out. You can also set up defaults. For example, any folder named sprites could automatically get a little icon. If you've ever wasted time scrolling and double checking folder names just to find what you need, if your Unity project is already a mess or you just want to avoid it becoming one, better folders is one of the simplest and most effective fixes you can get. Now the next tool deserves a category of its own, Dootween. When I first saw this asset, I honestly didn't think much of it. But after using it, it became an essential part of my workflow. It's that powerful. If you've never heard of tweening before, it's short for in-betweening. Basically, it's how you animate an object smoothly from one state to another. For example, instead of moving an object at a flat robotic speed, you can make it ease in, ease out, bounce, or follow a curve, making everything look way more natural and polished. What makes Dootween special is how convenient it is. You can apply it to almost any component in Unity. Need to move a transform? Easy. Want to fade a UI element, scale an object, or rotate smoothly? It's all built in. And with features like sequences, you can chain multiple animations together without running music code. It's insanely optimized, packed with options, and honestly, I've only scratched the surface of what it can do. If you want to add polish to your game with minimal effort, this is a tool. I'd recommend watching Tyro Dev's video that dives even deeper into its capabilities. I couldn't work without Blue Twin. It became an essential part in my own game. And speaking of my game, if you want to follow development, get early YouTube videos, or try early builds of Sky Defense, be sure to check out my Patreon. Now let's move on to useful websites that every game dev should know. Whether you're using Unity, Unreal, Godot, or anything else, these sites can save you a ton of time and effort. Asset libraries like the Unity Asset Store, HIO, and Open Game Art are all great places to find models, UI elements, sound effects, and more. Each one has its own strength, but together they provide a huge pool of resources that can help with nearly every aspect of your game development process. With the general assets out of the way, let's get a bit more specific. If you're mainly looking for 3D models, there are a couple of fantastic sites worth booking. Marking. Poly Pizza is great if you want simple, stylized, low poly assets that fit straight into a game without too much tweaking. 
On the other hand, Polyhaven focuses on high quality realistic models that are completely free and come with textures ready to go. Between the two, you've got a wide range of styles covered. As for sound effects and music, two great resources are freesound.org and Pixabay. Freesound is backed with user uploaded sound effects for just about anything you can imagine. Pixabay on the other hand not only has music and sound effects but also a ton of extra features like stock images and videos which can come in handy for trailers, thumbnails or even background references while developing your game. And finally let's talk about fonts. The best size I've found for this is font space. It offers a huge variety of fonts both free for personal and commercial use with tons of unique styles. If you want to give your game a distinct personality with a custom type Face, this is definitely worth checking out. Now for the last part, let's go over some honorable mentions. These don't really fit into a specific category, but they are too convenient not to include. The first one is imageonline.com. It has a variety of tools for manipulating images. One of the most useful being the ability to make a texture seamless. Super handy if you got a texture that doesn't tile properly. On top of that, it offers a bunch of other quick image editing tools that can save you time when you don't want to boot up heavy software. Next up is Unity Script Collection, which is basically a big GitHub library full of free Unity tools and scripts. If you're ever looking for a specific tool for a certain in use case or maybe a free alternative to an existing paid asset, this is worth browsing. You might just sample upon a hidden gem that solves your problem without costing you a cent. And the last website on this list is interfacinggame.com. From the name, you can probably guess it's all about UI design. The site catalogs tons of popular game interfaces, whether in screenshots or videos. You can even search for something specific, like inventory, and instantly get a bunch of different systems from various games. If you're like me and struggle with UI UX design, this site is a gold mine of inspiration. Alright, that wraps up my list of the most useful game dev tools and websites I've found so Far. Hopefully at least one of these ends up saving you time or sparking some new ideas for your own project. If it did, do me a huge favor and drop a like and subscribe so more game devs can discover these tools too. And if you want to give an extra mile in supporting the channel and my projects, you can check out my Patreon. It really helps me keep making videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.